Rye whiskey can refer to two different, but related, types of whiskey. American rye whiskey, which must be distilled from at least 51% rye. Canadian whiskey, which is often referred to as and often labeled as rye whiskey for historical reasons, although it may or may not actually include any rye in its production process. Topic: American rye whiskey. In the United States, rye whiskey is, by law, made from a mash of at least 51% rye. The other ingredients in the mash are usually corn and malted barley. It is distilled to no more than 160 U.S. proof ABV and aged in charred, new oak barrels. The whiskey must be put in the barrels at no more than 125 proof ABV. Rye whiskey that has been aged for at least two years and has not been blended with other spirits may be further designated as straight. As in, straight rye whiskey. History Rye whiskey was historically the prevalent whiskey in the northeastern states, especially Pennsylvania and Maryland. Pittsburgh was the center of rye whiskey production in the late 1700s and early 1800s. By 1808, Allegheny County farmers were selling one half barrel for each man, woman and child in the country. By the 1880s, Joseph F. Sinnott's distillery, Moore & Sinnott, located in Monongahela was the single largest producer of rye whiskey, with a capacity of 30,000 barrels a year. Rye whiskey largely disappeared after Prohibition. A few brands, such as Old Overholt, survived, although by the late 1960s former Pennsylvania brands like Old Overholt were being distilled mostly in Kentucky. Today, an expanding number of brands are produced by Campari Group Wild Turkey Rye, Diageo George Dickel Rye and Bullet Rye, Heaven Hill Pikesville Rye and Rittenhouse Rye, Beam Suntory Old Overholt and Jim Beam Rye, The Sazeric Company Call E. H. Taylor, Sazeric Rye, and Thomas H. Handy, and various smaller companies. One notable producer is MGP of Indiana, which is a distiller for many brands marketed by others including some of the large companies previously listed. Rye is currently undergoing a small but growing revival in the United States. Since the beginning of the 21st century, more producers have been experimenting with rye whiskey, and several now market aged rye whiskey. For example, Brown Foreman began production of a Jack Daniels rye whiskey and released unaged and lightly aged versions as limited editions. A distillery at Mount Vernon, the homestead of George Washington, sells a rye that is said to be like the whiskey Washington made. Empire rye In October 2017, seven New York State distilleries unveiled a new whiskey style, category unique to the state called Empire Rye. To qualify as Empire Rye, the whiskies must be made from at least 75% New York State grown rye, be distilled at a single New York State distillery, be at least two years old and be aged at the relatively low barrel entry proof of 115 or lower. The original distilleries to produce Empire Rye were Black Button Distilling, Copper Sea Distilling, Finger Lakes Distilling, Kings County Distillery, New York Distilling Co., Tuttletown Spirits, Hudson Whiskey and Van Brunt Stillhouse. <laughs> Differences between rye and bourbon Rye grain is known for imparting what many call a spicy or fruity flavor to the whiskey. Bourbon, distilled from at least 51% corn, is noticeably sweeter and tends to be fuller bodied than rye. As bourbon gained popularity beyond the southern United States, bartenders increasingly substituted it for rye in cocktails like whiskey sours, Manhattans, and old fashions, which were originally made with rye. All other things being equal, the character of the cocktail will be drier with rye. Canadian rye whiskey Canadian whiskey is often referred to as rye whiskey because historically much of the content was from rye. There is no requirement for rye to be used to make Canadian whiskey, and the labels Canadian whiskey, Canadian rye whiskey, and rye whiskey are all legally permitted, regardless of the actual composition, provided it 
"...possess the aroma, taste and character generally attributed to Canadian whisky." In modern practice, most Canadian whiskies are blended to achieve this character, primarily consisting of a high-proof base whisky typically made from corn or wheat and aged in used barrels combined with a small amount of flavoring whisky made from a rye mash and distilled to a lower proof. In some cases, the corn-to-rye ratio may be as high as 9 to 1. Most contemporary Canadian whiskies contain only a fraction of rye, with the exception of a few brands, such as Alberta Premium and Canadian Club Chairman Select, which are made from 100% rye mash. Canadian whiskey must be aged in wooden barrels that are not larger than 700 litres, 150 imp gal, 180 US gal for at least three years, and the barrels do not have to be new oak or charred. This requirement differs from regulations for U.S. blended whiskey, in which the bulk base spirits are not required to be aged. See also List of whiskey brands <laughs>